Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Vi, together with my husband, we are Vi Chalky Furniture. Today we're going to show you a makeover transformation of this big, 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 massive pieces. It's a display cabinet. This is the bottom and this is the top of it. And the top is too heavy, so we, we, we couldn't put it at the top. And the workshop is not uh, high enough to actually stage, it for, stage this uh, piece properly for the video. So that's why you've got the whole workshop behind me. Um, we'll be painting this white. Uh, this is a uh, commission work, so the customer wanted to change this uh, dark furniture to make it white. So we'll be painting it white and because we'll be going from dark to extremely white color, we would like to show you a preparation process and uh, how you should uh, approach your furniture uh, in a proper way to get the really nice result. And uh, that's it. We're, we're, just like I said, we will focus on a preparation itself more than a painting. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you will enjoy the video and you can learn something from it. And uh, remember that we are on Facebook, Instagram, and we do have our own shop as well. So you can pop in and see what's available. All the links will be posted below this, this uh, video in the description box. And remember, you have to subscribe. I'll see you in a bit. Keep watching, guys. We're gonna start from the top first. As you can see it's quite big so first thing that we need to do is to remove the door so we've got this hinges here with three screws and then we will remove the uh, glass from the doors it's very easy because it's quite new modern piece of furniture so we've got the silicone here that's easily removed and we're gonna remove the glass from the doors and inside as well just for the ease of painting We've taken the doors out, uh, as you can see they're here, keep them separate and we've got all the magnets off as well and the hinges, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but they've all been signed, so when we will put the, uh, this piece together all the parts will come back to the place where they've been taken off and now we'll be taking the shelves off so we've got two shelves to be taken off. They're, they're, they had glass here, but they came in to us without the glass. So we started working on those supports for the shelves, but it appeared that there are wooden doubles in between this bit and this bit. So we can't remove the shelf and the same as uh, this bit and this bit also here. So we can't take it out. Um, so we're gonna leave it the way it is, like the way it is just now. And we're gonna proceed to the doors and then maybe we'll see if we can remove the back and approach this piece from the back. As you can see, it looked easy, but it's not at all. Now we will start working on doors. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the uh, those metal pieces uh, for magnets. Uh, the, the handle will come off. Um, also, those bits here when the hinges are going, we're going to secure with the tape, so we're not going to paint over the uh, holes. And we will remove the doors. Also, very important uh, piece of information, when you take something off, make sure that you give it a description of some kind so you know where the piece are go where the piece should be going back so when you're taking off taking off something you're going to put it back in exactly the same place okay let's go in So we are outside at the moment, as you can see, the, we've managed to take the uh, back off as well. It had three separate mirrors, so it wasn't that bad as I thought it would be. We also decided to keep these uh, shell, support for shelves 
on. We didn't take them off because we think it uh, helps actually support the whole piece. So we've decided not to take it off. And now we'll be cleaning it. So I've got my uh, water with sugar soap and I've got sponge and some brush and we will clean this piece because it's uh, quite dusty. So this is the top, guys. It's been washed and uh, rinsed with water. Same with doors. And now they're sunbathing and we're just waiting for them to dry. And in the meantime, we'll be working on the bottom. We are back inside and we will start working on the bottom of this display cabinet. But unfortunately, those drawers are not removable from the front so we will try to take the back off and see what's blocking them and then we will remove all the drawers for the painting as you can see guys this uh, piece of furniture was manufactured in china in 2009 but it's really good quality so I'm glad that we actually will be painting it because it's really, wor really worth saving. Treasures! Ooh, plenty! Oh, look at, the, look at the, all this stuff. Okay. So we've managed to take the drawer out, but it was a quite difficult task because this drawer has a runner in the middle and it's this plastic bit hold, holds it in place so we had to take this off and at the bottom runners I don't know if you'll be able to see it there are runners and there's a screw here that holds runner in place so it took us a while but we managed to figure it out and took the drawers out So the bottom is now prepared to be cleaned so we're going to take it outside again and we're going to wash all the drawers and the main body outside just like we did with the top bottom top <laughs> top bottom top part <laughs> okay see you in a bit guys okay guys so uh, even though i will be priming this piece oh it's windy sorry even though i will be priming this piece i, I need to uh, sand it a bit. So I've got 180 grit sanding paper and I've got sponge block that has been used <laughs> Oh well, oh wind um, <laughs> It's been used a lot so I'm gonna do a little bit of sanding before I use any primer on it Okay guys, so we are ready to prime but before we do anything I just wanted to give you a quick update so uh, it's been uh, taken up taken apart well got it I would say uh, cleaned and scuffed a bit uh, to make sure that the paint will stick also I secured all the spots that I don't want to get paint like holes for the screws stuff like that they're all secured with the masking tape so when I'll do the priming and then I'll do the painting I'll take them off and I will know where the screws are going also I've painted uh, not painted I secured the inside of this uh, bottom uh, half I just don't want to uh, paint inside so I've got masking tape all around but I left a bit here that you can see that it's not uh, uh, the tape is not um, straight well on the edge I left uh, a, bit, a little bit uh, just to be painted because the doors are going slightly in so I don't want uh, brown to be visible so that's why I've got a uh, little bit of uh, brown left so I'm going to paint it and it won't be visible and also I've done the drawers inside as well as you can see all that line here I left a bit so it will be painted white so it will look nice and uh, no brown will be visible I've, I've also cleaned the drawers inside but because it's a 
some kind of velvet material I don't want to wash it or anything it was just hoovered to look nice and I'll be using this primer I'm gonna show you it's Craig and Rose uh, undercoat white to make sure that the this color will go on nicely okay keep watching guys remember if you like the videos please do subscribe to support our channel and I'll see you in a bit Primer is dry now, so we'll uh, be doing the painting now. So we'll be using this uh, Craig and Rose paint in white. It's a little bit uh, warmer. It's not like bright white, but well, we'll see how it's gonna be looking like on the piece. I think it's gonna be amazing. Okay guys, so we do have second coat painted, as you can see pieces are everywhere. It's nowhere near the finish I would like to be at this stage, but you know. It's on the other hand, it's a, we are going from very, very dark piece to white, so kind of expected that it's going to be difficult. But you've got all the doors here and the drawers all painted and now we are waiting for the paint to dry and we'll be painting third coat in about two hours time okay just to let you know that at this point I think I'm on, a, on my sixth hour of doing this piece so it's a, it's, a, it's a long 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 way to go and we are almost halfway through okay keep watching guys I'll be with you in a minute so we finished uh, painting uh, and at the end I've decided to use a roller so there's no brush marks whatsoever but uh, now it's time to do some uh, gilding so I've got my uh, wax and I'll be doing the edges of the drawers. Okay guys, so we've got everything prepared. Um, this is the top bit and it's been already uh, decorated with gold wax. So inside here as well. So we've got all the doors done as well. So this is the doors with the glass in them. And this is, this is the bottom door. So we're gonna put the hinges back on. We've got everything ready. We do have uh, knobs ready as well. And uh, we already started to build up the bottom bit together. So we put the drawers in and later on, and at the, uh, at, in a second we will put the doors back on and then we will put the back. Okay, keep watching guys. I'll be with you in a minute.
Welcome back guys, we finally finished this, this massive project. I think it looks a little bit uh, better uh, than it was before. So we went from a very, very dark piece of furniture to white piece of furniture with golden accent and I think it looks just amazing. It's a massive, uh, I mean, very big shame that I can't put it this top uh, properly on the on this base so you could you could see how how the whole piece worked together but unfortunately our workshop is not tall enough it's not enough height to put it and stage it properly for the video uh, i hope you did enjoy the video if you if you like the video please do subscribe to our channel to support us uh, uh, with our growth and you can always follow us on facebook and instagram and all the links uh, will be posted uh, below this video in the description box. Uh, we will also put the, all the products that we used during this uh, makeover so you can have a look and maybe you can use them and there'll be uh, links. If you use our links we'll get some uh, some pennies from your purchase if you decide to purchase. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you in our next video. Thank you very much guys. Bye bye. <laughs>